Welcome to Meet the Expert. Bite Size. Absolutely, yes. So, so first of all, we have to remember that, that the wild boars um, which are infected, they are shedding this virus in urine, in feces. So it means this way the virus can, can contaminate, for instance, grass or, or grain and then that straw, which, which will be used as, as a bedding after that. Uh, but uh, I would um, put attention to one point. Uh, the wild boar cadavers so so the dead wild boar uh, body which which is um, in different stage of decomposition is always a, a huge risk because this um, these cadavers they contain a huge amount of the virus you will easily overlook for instance if if you are on the big tractor in the field you will not see that there is a, uh, a dead boar lying somewhere uh, below your tractor you just drive over and then crushing the bones which are full of uh, the virus you will contaminate your 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 tractor tires and and then easily uh, you will bring the virus to to your farm please remember that the virus is a very resistant to physical and chemical factors. So actually, depending probably on the weather, ultraviolet and so on, the virus can stay infective for several weeks or even months in the field. So it means a boar which died, I don't know, in January, February, if you get in contact with, with the remaining of this wild boar in, in April or May, you still can infect your shoes. So th sure. this is this is a really we we have to consider and and we see actually that in areas where we have a high wild boar density, we have also higher risk of uh, ASF infection in domestic pigs. Mm -hmm.